Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and today I am going out side. It's not gonna be in my home because I've like made so many videos and I've stayed at home and that is only because of that snowstorm, that big monstrous snowstorm. That's why we were inside and then we had to go for groceries obviously and after like three days of snowstorm we came out and can you just believe it? We still have so much snow on the roads and like uh, the city doesn't care. They just don't care. They don't want to clean it right <laughs> so i just made a little video for all of you so that you can see what's going on around and look at the snow on top of those uh, those houses it almost looks like it's gonna slip down any moment because like calgary is also a very sunny city it's obviously gonna melt down soon but it's just a lot of snow so right now where are we heading to we're heading to actually we're going towards the cross iron side uh we actually need to go get do some groceries for ourselves and we're gonna and we're heading to walmart uh, so the closest walmart to our house is airdries walmart because i think it's just like 10 minutes drive or maybe more but like it's close so yeah that's where we are going we're gonna go do groceries from another city because <laughs> airdrie is another city over here we're done with our groceries and when we were coming back this is the condition of the snow on the road it's almost sunset because you can see the sun setting it was also windy the wind was driving the snow on the roads and then the roads were getting even more slippier on our way back on the highway that connects airdrie and calgary we saw so many cars in the ditches and it was crazy because our car almost was gonna go in the ditch as well but like god saved us So that's the conditions of the roads and i saw a lot of cars in the ditches and people cannot do anything about it because these cars won't come out yeah and they obviously need help with that so right now the sun is setting and we're going back to calgary yeah, and the conditions of calgary are pretty much the same now i'm gonna head to downtown and show you what downtown looks like yeah we're gonna go to calgary downtown and then obviously i'll tell you something very interesting about the downtown i'm really not sure why i'm doing this um, voiceover so casually normally i do my voiceovers very professionally it just depends upon the mood anyways i would just like to wish a happy new year to all of you oh my God, look at the amount of cars in the ditches like when i was making the video i didn't realize there are so many but yes there were at least six cars that i saw that went in the ditches and yeah that's just one side of the highway i know i like it was so slippery at this time i'm just wondering what the condition would be at the time of the storm like i hope everyone is safe wherever they are because like i know this is normal for calgary but it's still difficult to live in these conditions and the world should know the world needs to know the conditions that we are living in hello all i'm all packed up right now and we're off to a restaurant today because Omar said that it's his treat today and we're gonna go for dinner at where are we going for dinner today the kebab house meet you there bye okay now we are in downtown and i'm just gonna figure out which street it is and i'm just gonna let you know right away okay so i've done my calculations and i can see that harry Hayes building right in front of me and we just passed by the bowery college and that's where the train stops because i remember that because we used to live very close to downtown and i used to work in downtown i've worked there for like two and a half years it was just like a 15 to 20 minutes walk from my apartment to my workplace and i normally on good weather conditions i used to walk to my workplace and it was like really fun healthy fun it was a healthier and fun choice and a lot of people uh, normally use cycles to come to their workplaces because it's normally very rushy in the downtown and there's hardly any parking space and even if you need to park your car you really need to pay like a big amount of money so like normally what people do they use train to come to their workplace in downtown and that is pretty convenient i like the train system in calgary i've used it a lot and i really like it the other uh, thing that people use is um, cycling yeah in calgary they have separate tracks for cyclists and like 
cycling is a very convenient mode of uh, transit and the other thing in winters you can use is i've seen people skiing <laughs> I've seen people skiing to their workplace during winter because like it snows really bad here <laughs> just kidding so right now we have stopped in front of the central library in downtown and you can also see the Timmy's over there and there is a second cup coffee shop almost inside the library yeah so I've been here a lot of times as well while I was searching for a job and I used to drop off all my resumes everywhere and then I used to like spend some time in the library and then come back home yeah that was a time too but it wasn't like a hectic time it only took me like two months to get a job get hold of a job over here and that's amazing <laughs> Okay, so now we're taking a turn towards the Edmonton Trail. Edmonton Trail is a major north-south arterial road in the northeast quadrant of Calgary and it connects downtown Calgary from Reconciliation Bridge which was formerly known as Lanterman Bridge and the 5th Avenue flyover at Memorial Drive. So we're not gonna go on the Reconciliation Bridge, we're actually gonna go from the flyover at the Memorial Drive. But in the video, the bridge that you see is the Reconciliation Bridge. Yeah, and we are going from the flyover and this flyover also connects us with communities like Bridgeland and Crescent Heights. Basically, it connects the downtown Calgary with north central Calgary communities and that's where we're going right now. This river flowing underneath the bridges is known as the Bow River and it's considered an integral part of the Calgary's uh, downtown image because whenever you go online and search for Calgary downtown you'll definitely see three bridges one of them is the reconciliation bridge other one is this flyover from which we're, we just went through third one is the peace bridge the, you will see these three bridges and the Bow River so these things are an integral part of calgary downtown image and then they give beautiful look to the downtown so right now we're out of downtown but this place is pretty much close to downtown and this is the area where we used to live when i first came to calgary like this brings back memories um it's amazing well why we're here is because we're heading to a restaurant just nearby and we wanted to try some good halal steaks so that's where we're going we're going to a restaurant named the house of kebab and we're just gonna go and try some steaks over there because we heard that they're really good and it's really hard to find good steaks good halal steaks in calgary so yeah we're just gonna go and try that and then i can also review the restaurant for you how's that so this area is known as the crescent heights yeah Crescent Heights and it's a very good area to live in like the park over here it has such an amazing view I wish I could stop by some uh, day over there and show you the wave you can see the downtown from there and it's prettiest view ever if I can find a picture uh, from my old photos I will most probably just fit it in here or if maybe I can find it from the internet I'll fit it in, in here and like that's something that you have to see like it's the most amazing view of downtown ever period so yeah this area is known as crescent heights and um, yeah it's a very good area to live in even if you have kids because it has a lot of nice schools around it and obviously downtown is so nearby but the only reason we moved is because the houses over here cost like a million dollars and we cannot afford that so yeah we had to move to a community that was like way farther away from downtown and like the place where i'm living right now i love it so yeah no regrets no complaints i love it 
and i loved crescent heights as well okay now let's talk about the restaurant that we're gonna go to so its name is as i already told you its name is house of kebab it's persian cuisine on their website they claim that you will be amazed and thoroughly satisfied with all the great food served over here and everything is freshly prepared authentic iranian and tastes fantastic so we're just gonna go and uh, try how it tastes and the menu includes appetizers salads kebabs and so much more so we're gonna go and see what we order for the location i would post in the description the address of this restaurant and also the contact number so you can go on the link and see where it is located So here's their menu i made sure to make a complete video of all of this mostly from the names we i don't understand what the dish is about but they have like details about it normally they have a combination of uh, meat some salad and a rice uh, with some garlic sauce and the combinations are great so as i told you we came here looking for a steak so i ordered some beef steaks and the second thing we ordered was some chicken and rice i'll show you the ambience and what this place looks like so that picture that you saw i think it depicts the history of iran i can only relate to the picture because i'm from pakistan and in pakistani history there is mughal history and the mughal have been emperors and the, this picture resembles those moguls a lot it's like a very small space it is not a, a big seating area right now they weren't even dining because of covid restrictions Okay, so as I already told you that we were not aware that they are only open for order and pickup. They're not open for dining. So we got our food in the paper products, in disposable boxes to be precise, and we ate it there and then. Because at this point, we were very far away from our home and we weren't planning to take the food back home and then warm it and then eat it. So we, this is what we had planned that we we're going to dine in. So we just sat over there on the table and ate it. And it wasn't that rushy either so we we're like okay let's do this what are you eating giant sugar as you know that whenever we go to a middle eastern restaurant we always try their tea because that's kind of our hobby and we did the same over here after the food we had this tea and it was really very good they had added some cardamom in it as well and it tasted awesome it was the best thing ever the steaks and the chicken that we got uh, the chicken was really 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 yummy and the steaks uh, i didn't find them juicy enough but they were good weren't that bad so it's a good choice for ordering and picking up yeah great choice because the food was good the ambience wasn't good and there's definitely not enough space in there to go there with your kids so it's probably a good idea to order and pick up food from there and enjoy it Okay, so this was a very busy day and we enjoyed it a lot and I also enjoyed sharing it with you and now we are on our way back to home but before that obviously the kids don't like the regular normal food and on our way back we saw this pizza shop and they really wanted pizza from there and we have to get it. So let's go back inside my house. Sit on the table. 
cara más bonita. I'm struggling with this. I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs>